Hi everybody from a gorgeous morning in Raven Rock. This is quaint Raven Rock and it's just a fabulous overhaul. But I'm here to see Svelheim today. I'll show you where it is on the map. Up by the school village. And it's right there. You'll get a fast travel marker as soon as you've discovered it. And this is one of my favorite homes in all of Skyrim. It's so charming and beautiful. Only tiny, and I featured it in my top five favorite tiny homes. What a view from here. It's absolutely gorgeous, inside and out. Beautifully put together, right up my street. A wood chopping block outside and that's it for the front and look how charming this house is I've got a few flickery textures on my window up there but that's really of no consequence look how <laughs> oh this is so beautifully decorated mm -hmm. you have my full attention Yes, thank you. I will try to be a good guest. The last time I came here and I videoed this place, I didn't have a follower with me, so I'll be interested to see what he does. And the first thing I noticed when I came in here is these planters. A whole bunch of fertile soils down there that you can use. And you can see that I did. And how beautiful does this look? Oh my god, that's a wonderful picture. And look at the little rugs covering the stairs. There is so much detail in this house. Oh, I love this. You can open your fish tank. <laughs> look, at, look at that. Skull in there. All it needs is a treasure chest. And there is storage in here for everything. There is name storage everywhere. Gorgeous, comfy looking couch, even though it's made of stone. Look at those furs. And the tiny little brazier. Personally, I'd have put a tree there or something instead of the bear, but that's just me. I don't care for the dead animal scene. And do look around carefully because there's storage for all sorts of things. You'd be surprised for such a small home. You can really pack a lot in here. Charming dinner for two by the fire. And the kitchen is just gorgeous. Oh, oh. I feel like this home was actually made for me. It's right up there in my favorite homes of all time. Look at that. That is wonderful to me. Oh, he's doing his cooking. And some more soils here. Look how pretty they look. The whole thing is just super gorgeous. Oh, look at the pastries. And look at the structure as well. It's like a proper, hefty, substantial log cabin, isn't it? Loving the alchemy lab and all the little Dwemer pipe work. And that you can see right through there into your living area. <laughs> oh, oh boy. And so far, this is the only mod by this mod author. I please God they do some more. Of this standard, you know. So, do you see what I mean about all the space? Uh, 
and outside you have this wonderful deck with a smattering of snow. Look at the grindstone. <laughs> I get really excited about these type of things. I just love that. It's ingenious. And the smelter, and look at that. Cracked, cracked ice on top of the water. Nice looking tanning rack. And look at the workbench. Wow, it's just fabulous up here. And I've seen some nice houses on Solstein, but this one is still my favourite. And a hot tub. <laughs> well, kind of a freezing cold tub, actually. It's got ice on the top. But there's a few braziers. So you're one of those hardy people. Oh, look at that. Little baby waterfall feeding it. And I know I always bang on about the views, but really... So, what's not to love? So not only do you have this spectacular ground floor with all this detail, look at that there above the door, that little balcony full of plants, it's so gorgeous. As you go up the stairs, there's a secret panel. <laughs> childhood dream realized right there so this will take you to the temple in raven rock or to kinnereth's temple in whiterun and that's interesting so a little secret room for all your major treasures i wish i had some on me actually because i think this would look really pretty And then up here, see, look, the ceiling downstairs, all those big logs, and here it is mirrored upstairs with the sawn logs. That's just so cool. Darling little fireplace in the chimney there. Look at that. Again, more storage. And here's your enchanter. And how pretty is that? Hey, I had something. I can hear him downstairs doing his alchemy. So it's really good to see him just making use of the place. And a very groovy looking staff enchanter. That is really attractive. When I come across works of art like this, because that's how I think of it, it really is a work of art. And a nice indoor pool, which actually looks cosy and warm. Um, it makes me wonder why on earth Bethesda don't employ these people immediately. <laughs> or oh, other gaming companies, you know. Look at the wardrobe, that is so nice. I mean, look at what this person's achieved. Beautiful. Oh my god, how cute is that? And you really do need to look carefully. And the bed looks so cosy. It looks like I'm bunking up with Inigo because there's no spot for him. And that's literally the only... <laughs> The only thing I would wish for for this house is a little room or a bedroll for him. And the last time I had this home in my old playthrough, 
I didn't have a follower at the time, so it, you know, never bothered me. But now I think about him all the time. Greetings. I was getting comfortable. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. I don't even know what my favorite part of this home is. There's so much that, you know. Oh, look at that. Uh, there's so much to love. I'm going to leave you with my little planted up corner. I'll call that the end of this wee video. Thanks so much for watching. Do let me know if you like this home too. And I will see you soon for the next one.